what you've been drinking. I'm trying to get laid out. Ah, you're so calm. I wanted to talk to me about a perfectly innocent collection of vacation photographs overseas that I had no idea were being taken. I mean, any ignorant fool can misinterpret. I, I was teaching them how to swim. I have a lot of experience with this. I want you to stop for a moment and let me read from my travel journal. I think everyone should keep a journal, paste pictures, notes. Sometimes people object to you taking their picture, but a few pennies of their local currency and they will fall. Some people think this is patronizing. It's a big, lonely state out there. Just hold on, Mary. I'm watching you right now in the shower. Notice how many lonely hearts are lunatics? <laughs> Brian? Oh, actually, it's ironic that you say that. Because my wife's been brain dead for years. around rich men playing poorly. Man, I totally identify with shallow heroes who I don't know personally. God, I love a dude with a big pituitary gland. I love the Callies, man, but you know, this year, I'm telling you, they're gonna need to score some points and get some yardage and win the game. Yeah, if they don't win, men will be beating their wives with good reason. Hey, they gotta start playing to win, trying to score some on the other team. I wish I had a wife so she could beat me! <laughs> Here's what I say, man. If you want to be number one, you got to go for first place. I know, I know. Hey, I mean, uh, you know, it's great stating the obvious, but once you get paid for it, things get really complicated. Man, I was at their training camp this spring, and the mood in the locker room, too. Guys were getting changed, man. I mean, they were really getting prepared. Shoes were going on, feet, shirts were going on. 
the shirt part of their body, serious faces on them, and you could tell that they were going to play this game. Bottom line is, if they don't score more points than the other team, they can't win! Yeah, man. God, you have some spooky insight into sports, dude. I love you, Joe, man. I, I love you. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, look. Unlike most sports, gravity works downwards. You gotta be shitting me. Hey, Derek Thackeray, don't shit I'm really no one. Shit, but, uh, I do like this on my seat and, uh, at my seat too. Not really on it, so stay out of the way. <laughs> hey, tell me, the five game, that ain't rigged, is it? Of course not. Hey, how could anything professional be fake? Hey, there's too much money at stake for one thing. I mean, these guys got too much to lose. I mean, why is a guy gonna take a dive for a few extra million when he could earn that over a number of years getting his brain turned to pulp? Be serious for a minute. The clock is counting down again. It's time for Derek to head to the locker room and celebrate in the shower. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bring a cooler full of beers and get ready to riot. This has been the tight end zone. And this is WCTR. Proving the radio is better. Punk ass bitch. This is Leanne Forget, WCTR News. Foreigners are coming. Who are they? And why should we care? The FDA warns shampoo. Devices in including your radio. Hector and San Garcia, why are you still hey, listening? Hey, because I'm hoping you could explain the point. What? No, it's not. Now think about it. The second is open. Repeat. It's seriously fake. Can it be real? Can it be false? We'll see you next time. the typing pool at work think of you more as a teddy bear than a tiger? Do you whack off in your minivan while listening to Teen Pop? You know, you'll be dead soon. 
you've missed out on so much. It's not too late to make a change. At the Midlife Crisis Center, we know you've made a success of yourself. Why are you sharing it with others? Why not enjoy it while you have a chance? What's holding you back? Cowardice. We'll get you to the other side of your despair. We specialize in real estate, divorce attorneys, mistress placement, plastic surgery, hair coloring, and replacement.
knowing you're doing as little as possible to help. Cool, thanks. That's good advice. I am appalled at you, Mary Phillips. Uh, why? Because that man has a garden full of corpses in your top. Donation. Oh, God, give me strength. I married a fool. I married a fool. You know, when we first met, get out of the way. I thought you were so glamorous with your long hair and big ideas. You were studying your PhD in cultural ceramic history or cross cultural underwear or something, and I was very young, very foolish. Now I see you for what you are. And what's that? An intellectual cesspool. A middle class disaster. A guilt trip. And completely unable to function in this society. No wonder I forgot to sleep around. And Fuck on that bitch, mother we have to go visit our marriage therapist. Who is a conniving bitch and won't write me any more prescriptions for painkillers. Remember, when the left wing and the right wing come together, the country can really get going. Straight off a cliff. We'll see you next time. Boy, I can't imagine what those guys are like in the bedroom, but I'm sure it's a bit like the Bay of Pigs. That was I Say You Say. The news and all the other things that really matter to you. Like sensationalist bullshit. The real-life fictional drama in lives behind the law in the show that is making America cry. These IF-75s are a mess! And we're already three months late with the UCC addendum after we lost the Eighth Circuit paperwork the first time around. Jeez! Association of America, who encourages you to get out city in Thailand as Chen brought me a sparkling wit. The delicate, handsome, lovely young girl. The world is what it is. But war is folly, and we can only... Dress in gladiator clothing with your likes. We mustn't force our way and culture upon other peoples. Rather, breathe it in. Come part of it. Maybe Hemingway was right about love. I got time Maybe for the we're all fighting inside to let a wild creature mate in the rain. I travel, therefore I am. This is a show that embraces culture from around the world. Let's take our first call. Yeah, I totally agree with you about Australia. And you're right, the moon is shit. I'm thinking of visiting Columbia. Do you have any recommendations? Oh, yes, fantastic forms of recreation to be had in Columbia. It's a blizzard of excitement. And she? The rails are great! And law. <laughs> Bolivia is not bad either. Think about it. Stop running, fool.
have less culture there than the content of my toilet bowl. Rainforest, Schmain Forest, and Mexico, if I wanted to be that close to my ancient ancestors, I'd be banging my mother-in-law instead of my wife's best friend. Look, we can fight like beasts or agree to disagree. I'm sure the summit of your aspirations in life is a cheerleader with fake guns. But some of us think a little more exotically than this. Next caller, vamos, buenos dias and noches. If you don't smile, I... Besides which, it is the oldest profession. What? Oh, time for me to head south again. I'm James Pedeston, and this has been... Motherfucker! This is WCTR, committed to bringing you shows like The Wild Traveler, the show that takes you around the world and abandons you at the airport. Do you know that nobody likes you? We provide you with friends. Kiflar. To create a religion that is uniquely American, expensive, promiscuous, and entirely meaningless. And unlike other major religions, we only tithe 8.75%. That means less for God and more for God.
Remember, a heart can mend, but a divorce lasts forever. Unless it makes you a widow. Hello? Yeah, hello, Lonely Hunts. Uh, I was just calling up there because I was listening and I figured out you know that I could help out some of y'all clients. You know, this is none other than Jesse, the pride of the Pleasure Dogs Club. Anybody is out there lonely, first of all, with all the people on this planet walking around, there's no reason for anybody to be alone. You understand? That's why I'm in the business of keeping people with company. Saying people who got low self-esteem, they need to pick me up, they need to come down to the Pleasure Dome, hang out with me, Jizzy, and my girls, you know what I'm saying? They gonna keep you company, have you feeling good, and this goes for everybody, I don't care who you are, how old you are, so come on down and hang out with me if you're lonely, and I'm gonna tell you something, you won't be lonely from the moment you walk in the door, because somebody's gonna grab your hand, and it's gonna be all about to get down. Good grief, that's not the way Lonely Hearts works at all! Is anyone here suffering? I want pain, misery, desolation, all the important things. Hi, this is Tamara. I'm a stalker. Oh, that's really beautiful. Tell everyone about it. My man, well, I call him that, even though we've broken off all contact and it's married to someone else. I killed the gazelle and sent his heart to him in an envelope. He liked it so much, he told the police and even the newspaper. Then I burnt down his place of business, and now I have a check on the five Ah, oh, you have a great week. Isn't that really beautiful? That's all we have time for. If your heart is lonely, listen to other losers, and you won't be lonely anymore. You hit me, asshole! You want to spend the rest of your life in isolation, away from people, which is partners after all. Until next time. I hope you enjoyed Lonely Hearts. It's always fun to laugh at other people's misery, isn't it? All the news the government wants you to hear. WC. Champ, no shit. Oh, shit.